So for this project, I'm going to be starting off with cereal boxes. And I'll be making two holes for each size of the cereal boxes. I taped it at the bottom. So that's going to be at the bottom. And then the other two cereal boxes will be glued at the top. The design that I'm working on will only work perfectly well if you're using straight cereal boxes. Now the sides here are going to be covered with tape. And this is just extra to make sure that they stay together. The points at the sides where all the cereal boxes meet are going to be covered with tape too. These are cereal boxes that I'll be using for the top. Now because this is going to be at the top, I'll be making holes to fit the other holes that I made for the other two set of cereal boxes. I let the other boxes stand upright and then the boxes that I just worked on now is going to be on top of it, like this. The next thing I did was to cut out cardboard pieces from a trifle board to fit into the holes that I made earlier. So these cutouts is just to make sure that I have exactly 0.5 inches to work with or something close to it as I continue with the project. I'll be closing up the points where the top and the bottom boxes meet with duct tape. It's a box of cement that I got from Home Depot and it sets really fast. I took little of the cement and mixed it with water. The consistency is kind of thick, not your usual watery consistency, just because I'm working with cereal boxes and you don't want the cereal boxes to get weak. So it's kind of hard and this gets dry really fast. So I tried my best to pour in the mixture inside the hole and making sure that it gets right to the bottom. I use the stick to just push it in to make sure that the cement is evenly distributed. When I was done with all four holes, I covered the top with a very thin mixture of cement. Within 30 minutes, this became really, really hard. This is super strong and I love the way it came out so sturdy. And remember, this thickness is just 0.5 inches on two sides because of the partitions that I made in the inside using a trifle board that I had cut out. It made sure that the holes are just 0.5 inches wide, giving it enough space for 0.5 inches thickness of cement. This is a set of canvas panels that I got from Walmart and I'll be using it to cover the entire thing. Now the board used at the bottom here is on the opposite side because I need it to be smooth so that I can use this metallic gold contact paper. And on the inside, I'll be using this marble contact paper. I'll be mounting that piece of wood on corner braces. This is how the corner braces look. Now I'm using corner braces because nothing heavy is going to be here, but if you're going to put something heavy on yours, you can use wall brackets. This is a waste bin that came in pink and I spray painted it gold. And then this is all I got from two waste bins. This is a mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using it for the sides of the table. And I'll be using three mirrors for each side. I had some open spaces so I covered that up with one inch mirrors. I did not screw the board at the bottom to make it versatile for me to put things like this at the bottom. And then since it's an entryway table, if you like, you can put shoes there. It's all up to you on how you want your entry table to look like. I just placed the mirrors at the top just to see if I was going to like how it looks. I'm still not sure what I want yet, but you guys can either use mirrors or you can just leave it plain.
using our triangle shape that we have here to actually make our 3D panel. We will be taking four triangles to make a pyramid out of it and using a tape to hold it down so it can be easy for us to glue it down with the hot glue gun. Now that it's done, it should be super easy now to apply glue using our hot glue gun to glue the pieces together. I repeated the steps over and over until I made 55 pieces of the pyramids. Moving on, we're going to be using thin masking tape to cover up the lines where the boxes meet. And we're going to be doing that for all the pyramids. I used 15 cereal boxes in total. And I sprayed all of them silver using a silver rustoleum spray paint. This is what it should look like after it's dried. You can arrange it diagonally or in a square form. You're gonna keep doing this until you get to the end. You should have something that looks like this. Since it's a floor mirror, you just lean it onto a wall and you're done. This is such a large floor mirror and it makes a bold statement in the home. Yeah, I'll be using cereal boxes to make my own 3D wall panel. This is the shape that I'll be working with, and these are the measurements. The lines that you see here are folds, and it's perfect for the project, so it's going to make it so much easier for me to cut out the shapes. Now it's placing that piece, folded as it is, to the cereal box, and then cutting out the shapes. continued cutting and then to make the most of my cereal box I opened it up, traced the shape on it and then cut it. For the pattern that I'll be making, I'll be needing six of these shapes. And then one cereal box gives me seven of these shapes. So I kept going on and on to see how many pieces I can get from all my cereal boxes. This is all I could get from seven cereal boxes that I have saved, which is barely enough. So I took a black poster board to cut out more shapes from there. As I was doing this, I decided on the color that I want my wall panel to be, and I preferred white. So I got white poster boards from Walmart and cut them into the shapes that I'll be needing for the project. To make it easy for me to mount my wall panels to the wall, I'm going to be putting three foam boards together using duct tape. But you can have this as large as you want and you can make this as much as you want. I'm going to be starting off this pattern with white poster boards first before using the cereal boxes. So I'm going to be putting a dab of glue here and here. And then I'm going to make sure that the other two ends does not go down. So it's going to be suspended. And after that, I'm going to be putting another one next to it, making sure that the other both ends does not touch the floor. So I'm going to keep doing this until I have six pieces glued together and all the pointy ends for all six pieces will meet somewhere in the middle. Now this is the starry shape design that I'm going to be making throughout the pattern. 
Now the next piece is going to come here. And if you look closely, the next piece that I'm going to be putting here and another one here is forming another star right beneath the first star. So each full size star has six pieces, even if it's joined together. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. After gluing down my first two stars, I started arranging the remaining pieces horizontally just to make sure that I come out with a straight design at the end of the day. The next set is going to be with cereal boxes. And then I arranged the pieces like this so that I can just easily add it to the first set that I had completed. I'll be using the cutout from the cereal boxes to make stars like I did for the other set. I only had seven cereal boxes saved up. This is all that seven cereal boxes could cover. And that's not enough at all, even including the remaining pieces of my black poster board. I took it outside and I spray painted it anyway. So this is the first coat. Second coat and third coat. This is really light and weight, so I'll be using command strips to mount it on the wall. To show you guys how strong this 3D wall decor is, I took a heavy vase that I have and placed it on top and it did not sink in. You see that? I can roll a heavy item on top of it and it won't sink. It's really hard and really strong. Now this is what it looks like when it's mounted on the wall. You can spray paint it to any color of your choice, but I decided to just leave mine white. There were two stars that had issues with the middle. The pointy sides were just looking so rough, so I covered that up with white tape. I covered close to about six square feet and it took a lot of time. So I'll recommend this as a family project to be done over the weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.